Hello there, everybody. I'm Mr. Game of Pi, and this is Let's Play Sonic Generations Part 11. Get ready for a long video, because I'm going to be doing all of these levels. <laughs> In fact, get ready for three consecutive long videos. Yeah, the next one's going to be long, too. Anyway, so yes, here we have a nice little intro. Uh, Sonic mimics this at the beginning of uh, the level in Generations, the way that Sonic did that little stretch there at the beginning and then dashed off real quick. Yeah, he does, he does that. That's cool. Boosting is a bit different in this game. Uh, the boost charging it is a bit harder to do because you don't actually get it through, um, like, doing, well, just about anything. You have to defeat uh, a lot of enemies at a time like that to get the boost. Or, you have to, um, get white wisps. Now, at the beginning of the game, white wisps are, like, easy to find. They're in containers all over the place. But at this point in the game, it gets a little bit tougher. Because, uh, this is the beginning of the end. There's, uh, seven worlds in the game, six main ones, and then one at the very end to just sort of finalize everything. And this is the fourth, so... Yeah, we're getting near the end of the game here. Alright. So this is the first kind of wisp we run into. Classic Sonic uses this in Generations. It's pink spikes. You turn into a spike ball and you roll around. Kind of like a spin dash, but it's it's not a spin dash. All right, so next I'm going to get the rocket. Um, as soon as pink spikes wears off here. <laughs> Orange rocket is what modern Sonic uses in uh, his level in Generations. Just, just wear off here. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. Blasting off. This version of the Orange Rocket is slightly different from uh, the Generations version, in that it charges up and then it blasts off, whereas, um, well, it, you, you'll see how it's different when I get there. Oh, fell. Yeah, but that's okay, there's a patch out here. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of ducking to be done with the X button. Sonic Colors was only released on the Nintendo Wii. And I don't know where I'm going with that statement, so... <laughs> Just letting y'all know. There's only the Wii version to be played. And really, they did a good job with this. I mean, look at how great everything is. All those graphics, all the grass, all the machines. A really good job with this right here. I did do a practice run of the area, so I shouldn't be dying too much. Though knowing me, I'm going to die at some point. Oh. Whoa, wait, I did not want to do that. Oh well. Whee, I slided correctly. Uh, I was kind of wanting to use the rocket at a certain point to go on the higher path easily, but... Uh, well, that didn't work, now did it? <laughs> well, I have an orange rocket to spare, in case I ever need it. Not that that matters, because they always give you the thing that you need. Oh, well, yeah. I for... That is not working. Boosting forward through everything is not working at all. Give me that ring. I need that ring. It's the last one I got. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, wait, that... That, yeah, that's not working very well. <laughs> I did not do very well there, at all. They have that kind of section in Generations. You can only do the uh, sidestep at certain areas where it'll have arrows and stuff that'll show you, oh hey, you can sidestep here. Uh, I use the GameCube controller to play this game, although it's not the only control mechanism. You can use the remote and stuff. In this, you use the uh, C button to activate Wisps. I don't know how you activate... Oh, wait, there's a red ring that I haven't gotten yet. Yeah. Whee, I got a red ring! I died! Wow, that that did not end as well as I would hope. Darn it, why can't I get to the top path through that? I guess I've forgotten how to do those on, in this game. I know how to do them in uh, Sonic Unleashed, but not here. For some reason, I can't get that right. Okay. Let's do this. Without dying this time. Preferably. 
Oh. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this time I'm gonna grab that red ring and not die from it. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. The big ring is around here somewhere. There it is. Just have to jump at it. Yay, got it. Yeah, they actually did a good job of making uh, this game. They made lots of different ways to get to the end. I mean, that thing that I did there at the end, yeah, I did it completely differently on my practice run. <laughs> I did not use, well, I did use the orange spike, so I used it in a different area to get to the large ring. So if you don't go the path that I go, oh, hey, got enough red rings to uh, unlock a level there. That's cool. So yeah, if you don't go the way that I go necessarily, that's, that's okay. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing things wrong. You're just doing it differently. You might even be doing it better, I don't know. Pretty much with this game, I got to the end, and then I stopped playing. So, I don't know this game extremely well. And uh, that's a red ring that I've already gotten. The thing about this game is that the red rings that you've already gotten appear, but they're see-through. They still give you points, though. And you, get, and you need those points to get things like S ranks. And yes, there are S ranks, but don't expect me to get any in this playthrough. Come on, get up there, Sonic. Why aren't you... Don't don't hit the spike balls. Those would be bad. There we go. Yeah, those those enemies appear in generations in various minigames, but they never appear in levels themselves for some reason. Oh, missed the platform. Come back down here. I've got business with you. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's a wall over there. Running into walls typically does not get you very far. Whoa. Okay. This part can be a little bit tricky. Come on, come on. Yeah, I made it. And now I'm down here. How do I... What am I doing? Okay, there we go. How do I shot web? How do I push block? Would it be push block? Frenzy! I don't know. Anyway, this is the frenzy whisk. Uh, you basically run forward and kill everything in sight. That's what you do with this. Pretty simple. Oh. No. How about this? Double jump! Yeah, Sonic has a double jump in this game, rather than a, uh, forward jump. Alright, whoa! Falling. Oh well. Oh hey, yeah, there's a guy that's spitting rings out up there rather than spike balls, that's cool. Okay, just get over here. There was an extra life over to the left, but uh, I'm not going to get it. Here's a red ring that I haven't gotten yet. Nice. Just boosting all over the place over here. Oh, slide! Yes, I did it. Alright. Grinding. And there you go, that's the second level. I even got a red ring that I didn't have. All right, A rank. That's better than what I did last time, which was B. I mean, really, before my practice run, I had, like, Cs and Ds all over the place. I don't think... I, I think I got a better rank for every single level in this on my practice run. And it's nice that I'm getting even better ranks now. I'm, a, I'm getting good at the game. <laughs> okay. Now this one. This one has the laser and cube wisps. Laser was um, sort of the mascot wisp, I guess you could say. Oh, gotta boost through this section. This is the one that I want to boost. Just gotta make sure I know what I'm doing here. Stay on the top path. I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, yay, I made it. Got a red ring in the process. That's good. Oh, well, there was laser. Those blue things. You, uh, those little blue diamonds. Use the laser wisp on them. It'll launch you all over the place. But, uh, I don't have a blue laser right now. So that doesn't work out very well. This... Oh, actually, I guess it's cayenne or cyan laser. This is blue. The cube. Pretty cute. Cool cube they have here. Ow! Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Alright, with the cube, you can turn these little blue cubes into, uh, rings. And the rings, and the blue rings into, uh, blue cubes. However, whenever you, uh, 
run out of power, they will turn back to their original state. Now you can change them again if you want to. Boom, like so. Um, and it's it might be kind of hard to keep track of what was their original state. <laughs> Because it's like, oh, hey, it's I'm going out of power, but I'm pretty sure this was a cube originally. Oh, no, wait, it wasn't. I, it turned into a ring. I'm dead. <laughs> that, that happened to me on my practice run. Around here, actually. Yeah, it was, it was these over here. Whoa, okay, so I'm just going to let this run out. Grab another blue guy. Oh, darn it. Or I'm not. Or that is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to die. Right there. Again. Except this time through more stupid means. Alright, let's not get hit by that, first of all. <laughs> Alright. It's a good thing that these start out as cubes. This. This. Want my extra points, man. Now, um... Whenever you have a Wisp activated, it's constantly giving you points. You can see it up there in the top right corner. It just it takes a while to activate. Or maybe it doesn't do that for blue, I don't know. Grab this. Yeah, you see, it's a special bonus up there whenever I grabbed that uh, red ring. Even though I had already collected it, it still gives you the points. Even if you're recollecting it. All right, let's go all cube on him. Bam. Yeah, I like the way that you can destroy all these blocks with the cube. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I'm going to go back, and this time I'm not going to die. Sound good, everybody? I think it sounds pretty good, personally. Okay. Get this. Bam. All the rings turn into the blocks. Bam, got that, and I am at the goal. Wonderful. So yeah, if I hadn't died, uh, I think I would have gotten a better rank. I'm pretty sure that it resets your score when you die. Come on, where's that extra life? One of these, one of them always has an extra life. I guess it was either the seven or the zero. Yeah, that, that's the best I've done there. Because I, uh, I always die at the end. If I don't die at the end, I'm pretty sure I would have gotten a B or an A. Because the points accumulate over the level, of course. Alright. Here we have a large industrial area. Yep, and that's over. <laughs> Let's slide around here. Let's not fall into the pit. No, no, don't. Don't fall into the pit, Sonic. Don't do that. Why are you going over to the pit? There we go. Right. Good. Great. Oh, that... Darn it. Well, that... That was short. <laughs> oh, wait. It starts me... Restart. It did not restart my timer. There we go. No reason why not to restart at that point. It's not going to reset your timer. Come on, start sliding. Start sliding. Here we go. Yeah, you also get bonus points for drifting like this, as you can see on the top right. Well, not more, but... Just keep pressing A. Keep pressing A. A, 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 A. Okay, good. Now, for a long time, this level gave me a lot of trouble. Because, uh, I wasn't sure what I was doing at one area. Where you need to boost on a... Oh, right. Wall jump. This game has wall jumps. That's cool. Wall jumps first became available in Sonic Heroes, I think. Um, might have been one of the Sonic Adventure games, though. And uh, there's another Cyan Wisp in case you die. And there is a red ring in case you want to be awesome. Now, I, I would like to be awesome if that was at all possible. Yes. There's an extra life in case you die. I, I died several times in this conveyor belt area when I did my practice run. It's, um, it's kind of tricky. I died numerous times whenever I was doing my original run-through of the game. Okay, I got the extra life anyway. That's always nice. Let's get up on this platform. 
Time to show what the Cayenne Whisk can do! Bam! Like that. Alright. Grab this little ring here. And rock it upward. Boom. And don't worry, because I've got a rail to grab onto. Oh, fell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm actually supposed to go to the right, so I'm just gonna do that now. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, this is right. This is the right way. Boing. Okay. Got the goal right there. Let's not die right in front of it. Platform go up. Thank you. There we go. Got it. And I didn't even die that time. That's nice. Hey, yes. That's totally what I got, because I didn't die. Well, technically I did, but then I reset because I was just sent right back to the beginning with an extra 23 seconds. Oh, there's the life! And he stops moving the moment it appears. Darn it. Oh. So yeah, what was that? Four? Okay. Two more levels to go, and then I'll... And then a boss. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get on to the Sonic Generation section. Whoosh. Let's go. Alright, we got these cool yellow boxes here. The enemies can shoot through them. And I'm pretty sure there's a way for you to destroy them as well. Though it's not really advised for you to do that. Even are over an endless pit. Okay. We have a thing that I want. Over to the left, if Sonic will stop homing attack. Yes, then... Thank you, Sonic. Okay, down here we have an orange rocket. And yes, I went down here on purpose. Rocket! Yes, that is what I am doing, Sonic. <laughs> Though I'm pretty sure it isn't actually Sonic saying that, because of what the final boss does. But what does the final boss do? Well, maybe you'll see that some other time. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I'm doing this. Whee! Hello everybody, you are going to die now. I hope you don't mind. Alright, there's a red ring over here. Get that. It's one that I've already gotten before, but uh, I don't care. I'm getting it. Alright, let's go back up here. Now, the Frenzy Wisps uh, actually are not natural wisps. They were caused by uh, Dr. Robotnik being evil and messing with their genetics or something. And I don't think that they appear until the last world, actually. You see, the way the wisps work is that um, they appear in an initial level, and once you beat that initial level, they'll appear in other levels as well. If that makes sense. Like, the reason the Frenzy Wisp is in this level now is because I beat the level that they first appeared in. But when I first played this level, they were not here. Alright, got another A rank. If only I could have gotten an S. Just another 11,500 points. I don't know how, how I would have gotten those 5,000 points. But, or 11,000 points, but uh, I'm sure there's a way. <laughs> Yeah, the voice is getting tired from so much talking. Okay, Act 6. Let's go. Got an A on this one. Maybe I can do it again? I'd like to. It'd be great. Got it. Alright, let's go through the... No, wait, no, no. Don't go through the ring. That ring is bad. Oh, 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 well, that... I wanted to get the wisp and then the ring, but that... The game said otherwise. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I should talk about the plot of this game a little bit more. Um, basically, Robotnik has set up a interstellar amusement park, combining five, or no, six planets into one. And, um, he's captured alien beings, known as Wisps, to power this theme park. Oh, we have the, uh, Hover Wisp. It can use the light speed dash, something that Sonic himself cannot use in this game. And I'm getting the color bonus, as you see up there. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes, got it. Hover is very useful. 
in this level. Originally, I didn't like it too much because it seemed really slow. But um, if you know how to use it, it's pretty useful. And I've already got another Wisp, Spikes. Uh, this is another one that gives you color bonus every second or two. Oh, well, there's a red ring up there that I haven't gotten. Really, I haven't gotten any red ring in this level. It's level one. It's kind of sad. Okay, where am I going? Down. Yes, that's where I'm going. All right, let's speed this up a bit. Jumpity, jumpity, jump. Let's go. Amazing! Yes, it is amazing. Go through these rainbow rings for the faster way. Okay, this section. Climbing up this building. This section is kind of annoying, actually. I don't like it too much. But here I am doing it anyway. Okay, just gotta find the Hover Wisp down here. Yes, that is what I am using. Come on, slice me dash. There we go. And then up here we have another place to use the light speed dash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I made it. Yes, good. That, that was a close one right there. Okay, yeah, this is the quick way to get up the building. There is also a slow way. I believe that the ring is here. Oh, oh, well. It looks like I'm going the slow way from here on out. Yeah. If only I had succeeded in making that jump. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 no. Darn it. Okay, don't worry. You can do the, the hover wisp and the spike wisp on the right side as well. You just need to go up a bit further to get to that hover wisp. And I'm saying don't worry to myself. I don't think any of y'all are worried. <laughs> y'all aren't playing this game. Oh, no, 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 Sonic, turn around! Oh, darn it. That, that is where you would get the hover wisp. That platform I was trying to land on back there. Right before I died. Okay, at least I get to try this again. Let's go. Whoosh. Yes, that is... That is the noise that it makes. Whoosh. Okay, this is what you're really supposed to do here. Oh! That... That was not good. But I made it anyway. If only I could figure out the right place to jump. Maybe if I wasn't a spiky, it would help. Then I would get a double jump. Alright, Spikes, we're off. Come on, there we go. Oh, there's a red ring up here. That's nice. Okay. And got it. There we go. So yeah, B goes to A. Think of if I hadn't died. I might have gotten in it. Well, that's a pretty high number over there. It's next rank. Um, nope, no extra life. Well, there was an extra life from getting the A rank, but not from the minigame itself. Okay, folks. It's time for the final thing of Planet Wisp that I'll be showing you. It's a boss! That's right. It's actually the first boss of the game, but harder. They, they just ran out of boss ideas, I guess. Bonk. Hit his hands so that his face will open up and then smash him. Yes, Tails, I just explained that. No need to say that again. Um, now that's... The Spike Wisp is available on this boss. Very nice to have. Uh, it makes you immune to the guy's attacks. You can just stand up here, and then whenever his eye opens up... Or I miss... Come on. Come on. Oh, well. It still got me close enough to hit him. And come on. Come on. Bam! Yeah, I got that guy. Whee! I'm running around. Or not. Where the heck did I go? Yay! Grabbing all the rings that are coming out of him. That's a lot of rings. Okay, what, what rank did I get? C. A. Oh, yeah. S! Oh my gosh, I got the S rank. That is amazing. Yay! S rank! S rank! Yeah! 
I did that! I did it! Yeah, I don't I don't get S ranks very often. In case y'all didn't notice. <sighs> okay. Well that was cool. Now then, onward to Sonic Generations! Alright, so it's time for the shorter section of the video. The part where I actually play the Sonic Generations levels. <laughs> okay, yeah. So here we are at the new Planet Wisp. One game later! This is what it's going to look like. Well, this is what it does look like. Now, um... A similar thing happened between, uh, Sonic Unleashed and, um, this game. Between Planet Wisp and this game. You see, because Planet Wisp is new, it, well, I mean, uh, Sonic Colors is one of the newer games of the Sonic series, uh, they had to change some things to keep it new and fresh and such. I am going on the lower path now, that kind of sucks. Let's go. And so, um, it might not all look very recognizable. Like, you'll find all these plants and stuff. While there was definitely foliage in the original, it wasn't nearly emphasized as much as it is now. Alright, so here we are in the interior. Also, uh, the enemies, they've changed a bit. I mean, like, there's they're just newer enemies. The, the crab meat enemies, those guys from Sonic, those were from Sonic 1. You know these caterpillar enemies. Alright, so here we have pink spikes. Now, we'll be using them to activate these devices. Uh, there were definitely none of those on Planet Wisp, but it's been a while since I've played the rest of the game, so maybe those were somewhere else in the game, I don't know. Narrowly dodged that fire. Okay. Jumping platforms here. There's a secret exit to this area. Um... And that's where you need to get one of the red star rings. Well, I had no idea, because, um... What, what Charmy was talking about when he gave me that hint. But he's talking about this, this area, right here. There's normally a red star ring right there. Alright. We originally pink pink spikes could not go through these little uh, rings. Trust me, I tried. At the end of that one level, uh, where I'm using pink spikes to go up the wall, and then I usually fall off and stuff. Um, yeah, there's rainbow rings next to the. Um, but if you're in pink spike mode, Sonic does not react to those rainbow rings. Well, in this game, that, that isn't the case. He can use the rings in spike form. Maybe it's because he's classic Sonic, I don't know. Now, in the 3DS version, um, it's probably based off of the DS version of Sonic Colors, which I never play or looked at, so I wouldn't know what would be different there. <laughs> But, um, Classic Sonic used the first Wisp, which was DS only, and, uh, Modern Sonic used the, uh, Laser Wisp, which, um, y'all saw just a moment ago. Or, well, maybe it wasn't just a moment ago, but at some point during this video, y'all saw what the laser did. <laughs> All right, moving on. Now these, these saw blades, I don't remember them in the original level. Maybe they were in the DS version or something. Oh, there's an arrow telling me to go to the right, so that's where I'll go. Wee. Moving onward. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to go to that top path up there. There we go. Yeah, going to the top path. Like a boss. And I've done this level way faster before, for a full minute faster. Alright. 
Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I'll still be able to get that sort of stuff. And that'll be nice, because I like getting the s rings. I like showing y'all how it's done. Let's go. Despite the fact that I am King Spike mode, the speed shoes still give me the uh, regular. Until I get another sp King Spike, anyway. Now, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't. This game doesn't have a meter to show you how much pink spike you have left to use. Okay, this part. This part is kind of hit and miss. It can either take a long time or you can do it really quickly. I'm gonna try to do one of the really quick ones though. See, so y'all don't get too bored. Go up here to get that extra line. I like getting that extra line. It's very helpful. Alright, I think this is going to be one of the quick runs. Alright. Whoa! That suddenly happened. Let's try to get these speed shoots here. Boink. Boink. Oh! Yeah, for some reason that keeps happening. That, that's kind of weird. Wait, wait, wait. Speed shoots. Yeah, I have no idea why it keeps falling off of a thing like that. Alright, we're nearly at the end of this level. In fact, this is the end right here. Final rush to the end. And there are missiles behind me. There were missiles that... Yeah, there you go. There was one in the distance. Okay, yeah. S rank! Yeah, it can take a long time to get through the level, and yet you can still get an S rank. That's kind of crazy, huh? Alright. Next up, we'll have Modern Sonic, using the orange rocket. And, um, you'll see the difference between the way, uh, Sonic Colors Sonic used the rocket and the way Sonic Generation Sonic used the rocket. Unfortunately, spikes, burst, rocket, and laser are the only wisps we get to see throughout both versions of Sonic Generations. Oh, and, well, we also get to see the white wisps at the beginning of each version of the level. Because, after all, this is Planet Wisp, the wisp's home planet, which Robotnik uh, has been taking over with machines and stuff. Although, I, I'd kind of like to show you guys the cutscene when uh, Sonic beats the boss of Planet Wisp because it has this great line. Yeah, it's, no copyright in the universe is going to stop me. <laughs> oh, that, that was such a great line. I, I like that one. Really, whoever did the writing for Sonic Colors did a great job. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was the people who did uh, the writing for this game. I mean, y'all don't, don't get to see any of the lines in this Let's Play, but trust me, the cutscenes are pretty cool. Yeah, getting boost in this game is way easier than it was in Colors. I'm glad. You also get to um, do the drift and the quick step anytime you want. Oh, that missed that platform. On the lower path now. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, going out of control there. But I didn't die that time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that's different. They didn't uh, throw their pickaxes in uh, the original. Also, there's buzz bombers now. Sonic 2. All right, here we go. Orange Wisp Rocket. See, he just immediately blasts off. Rather than charging a bit and then blasting off faster. You can charge it if you want, but I've never really seen any value in doing that. All right, this part. It's easy to just sort of, like, boost and then end up falling down that endless pit. I'll jump over here. Now I feel like I can double jump, and I can't. 
Let's go. It hit, hit. Yeah. Okay, saw blades. Avoid those. It's a good idea to do that. Okay, jump. I think I'm actually on the top path now. If I recall. Oh, I'm... Well, that's probably just for that goalpost. You see, there's a time for every goalpost. And, um... Let's say you do a really fast run and end up going through one goalpost. And then do a similarly fast run, but then go through a different one. Well, it'll stay that you're going faster because you... D okay, I'm just explaining this horribly. I'm just going to stop. <laughs> But yes, I am up on the upper path. Alright, now this part. Um, I'd say these platforms here are based on those moving platforms that I die a lot on. Except, uh, well, they're not the exactly the same. But you see, they still have enemies on them and stuff. And they're moving platforms. Yeah. So yeah, I have a lot of boost here. Might as well use some of that up. Run! Look at that! It's like an extra half bar. <laughs> and that's just the extra. I still have the rest of the bar as well. Now let's see here. There's an extra life about here. Run! There it is. I was right. There was an extra life there. Gotta time this right, don't want to end up hitting the fire. Okay, gotta time this right as well. It's it's a pretty big reaction game right here. Oh, okay, I made it. Get that wisp. You can boost these. Rocket! And rockets. Um, apparently this is a shortcut. Or something. This is not necessarily the intended way. Get up, Sonic. Okay, I can fail to homing attack. Okay. It wouldn't be a let's play without fail, that's what I always say. And you are now out of my way. Good. Rocket! Rocket! Also, you can move side to side with this version of the rocket. Um, it's it's not really used functionally at any point, but you can do it. <laughs> But they only really had one level to work with these wisps. Well, one level each, I suppose you could say. So, you know, it's not like they're gonna apply everything to them. Oh, that did not work. Oh well. Yeah, if you boost when you jump off of one of those big platforms, it'll still be boosting the platform with you, no matter how far you get away with it. Until, uh, no matter how far you get away from it, until you s touch solid ground again. Rocket! Or another one of those platforms. Alright, now this part. Uh, the ceiling Rocket! is coming down to crush you, so you gotta move fast. Fortunately, I can do that now. First time I tried to go through here, not so much. Got crushed. Rocket! Not fun. But I'm nearly done with the, this section. The roof wants to kill you. Ow! Thank you, Rocket, for knocking me off my feet. That's fun. Rocket! Evil Rockets, yes. Okay. Alright. Now we got the big ring. And there's that building in the background. So apparently this is the big ring that, um... I had such a problem with getting to. <laughs> with the hover and the spikes section. But anyway, S rank, yeah! That's how to get it done. Now I'm looking at the time, I guess this takes up about a third of the video, actually. <laughs> the Sonic Generations levels. Okay, that was it. And next time I'll be doing the... Oh yeah, I'll be doing the uh, modern style bosses. So it's not the next level. The next level won't be too long. But the two levels out, the two um, the videos after that, those, those will be quite lengthy. As will this one, of course. Anyway, see y'all later.